these types of videos are extremely important so that you don't blindly follow the instructions of any police officer. You know the whole idea of love is blind? No, love should never be blind. Love, as with anything, like your dating life, when you choose your career, when you choose your partner, when you choose someone you're dating, even if it's just like a casual thing, you, it's a calculated decision, okay? Dating someone who is actually has something going on in their life versus, versus dating someone who lives with their parents or has nothing, no ambitions, it's two completely different things. One person has, some, has stuff to lose, whereas the other person can easily just leech off of you. And just like that, you should never blindly follow a cop or necessarily listen to them and violate your own personal rights. Let's commence. Ooh. What's up? What's up? You like my car? Huh? You like my car? What happened? You like my car? Yeah, hey, I like your car. That's yeah. why you're what, what, What's your badge number? Badge number? Why? Yeah, and your name? Why? You contacted me. When? You just asked me a, que a question, yeah. I, I, it's your policy. asking you a question. And it's your policy. If somebody asks you to identify yourself, you have to identify yourself. You oh, know that? I don't have to. You don't have to? Okay, I don't have anything to do. If I run you for a warrant, I give you my name. But I was you just... want me to me do that? I do it. You can't. Okay, let me see your ID. I'm not going to okay. show you my ID. Yeah. Also, I'm not going to give you my ID then. Because you work. You're a public servant. You have to. Yeah, if, I don't if, have to. If I ask you for your ID... Your ID. I'm not going to show you my ID. Y'all see how he was so quick to escalate the situation? I'm like, yo, do they not have de-escalation training? Like, bro, it's like every single, you chose this job, right? You chose this job. You know the dangers that come with this job. But you're also a public servant. You're supposed to serve the community. This man already, I'm sure perhaps he had a bad day, but like, bruh, <laughs> you have the gun. I, have a, I haven't done anything. I call for cover now. Call your then, call the, give me your ID. Why are you getting close to me? Give me your ID now. Call your supervisor. I'm, I'm asking for your, your name and your badge number, please. No. What did I do to you? I didn't. I haven't done anything to you either. So call uh, your supervisor, please. No. Your supervisor. No. You can't. I'm, I'm, I'm asking your supervisor. Why? Because there I want... There's a reason. No reason. I, I was so just do you want to talk to my supervisor for, for no reason? Why are you asking my ID? Why are you asking for my ID? Because you called me something, you, you asked I me. I called like, you. I like asked you if you like my, my police car. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's a good why, reason for you to ask. Why are you so hostile? Like, have I done anything? Yeah, you done something. What I've done? What I've done? Because you refuse to give me your ID. Is that a law? I have to give you. It's I a have, law. What what crime I have committed? You can I feel like this whole movement of people starting to awaken and being more knowledgeable about their rights, you will finally understand that you are not required to give anybody your ID. Especially the place where you live. Yo, remember, when you give someone your ID, usually drive license, for example, it shows the place where you live. You don't give that information to just anybody, you know what I'm saying? So, you're not obligated. Unless you've committed a crime, you're in the act of committing a crime, you don't show nobody your ID, bro. You are, you are interrupting me. Huh? You're okay. interrupting my I was just filming you. I was just filming you. And you're getting, like, close to my face and stuff? Get lost. No, you get lost. I haven't done anything. Can I get a, a, a card number or something? I'm gonna make a complaint. Go for it, start recording. Hey, how's it going? It's not what are you up to? Not much, just take a picture. Can you? Whoa. I can't see it. Sorry, let me stand over here. Nah, that's okay. I'm uh, just, just out taking some pictures. Nice cruiser. Don't take pictures of my partner, sir. I can take pictures of everything I think I see in public. Don't you know the First Amendment? Yeah, I do. All right, then why don't you just not say things that are going to make you look stupid? No, they're not going to make me look stupid. I can take pictures of anything I want, including yeah, your cruiser yeah, and sure. your partner. I'm asking you not to take photos of Asking means jack to me right now. So what are you doing in the, in the area? Taking photos of what, specifically? What you see is what you get. Asking, especially just be especially be careful when they try to be nice with you. You know, they try and coerce you with a. They try. They start off with nice, being nice, so that you can start talking to them. Whether whether it be they're fishing for permission, or they're asking you to do something, it's not a lot positive with regards to when you're filming them. You can film as much as you want, as long as you're not obstructing the actual uh, police encounter with the other person, whatever it is, right? But like. They can ask you to move a bit further, but you're not required to. I think I th I'd say 10 feet of space from the incident to where you're recording is good. But 
<laughs> they can ask you to move or move back a bit, but if you have that 10 feet of space, you're not, it's not law, okay? <laughs> I don't answer questions. Huh? I don't answer questions. We'll leave it at that. Do you have ID on you? I don't answer questions. Do you have any form of ID on you? I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. I mean, I'm just asking some questions. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I've answered your question with a statement. I don't answer questions. All right. Well, just make sure you, you don't block the sidewalk, please. I'm. All right. I'm fine. All right. Have a good one. You too. Hey, one. I do have one question for you. Can I get your name, sir? Can I get your name? No name? So it is not law that they have to give you their name, but it is their policy. So if they're willing to break that policy, imagine what other policies in the department they're willing to break. It's a simple thing. You are a public servant. You have the gun. You are patrolling or governing the people. So you should identify yourself because it's... No, I'm not saying it's easy, but you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility that someone could fake being a police officer. You know what I'm saying? Are you right here right now? Which catcher were you talking to? I'm sorry, but I don't ask for No? You have an idea on you? Or what? You're being detained right now, sir. Okay. You have, just understand that. You have an idea on you. I already told you. They came and talked to my supervisor. Right now you have no rights. Okay? I I got called by Nigga, 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 nigga. Right now you have no rights. Are you hearing yourself? Right now you have no rights. You know for me personally, <clears throat> I've only had a couple encounters encounters with, with a police officer. I'm sure if I actually had a car and I was actually driving. I would definitely have more personal experience but for the most part the only interaction i've ever had with a police officer is like trespassing warning whatever it is right but like these types of videos have really opened my eyes to the abuse of power that a lot of police officers tend to have yep. This guy. Can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? My badge, my name. What can you say? Can you state it for the record? Say it for the record. My name, my badge. Right, well, can you state, state it for the record, though? You can see I'm here, sir. Can you state it for the record, please? You can see I'm here. Always, bro, like, always, 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 always. My name, my badge. My name, my badge. Say it. Speak it. Is it so hard to just say your badge number and your name? If you weren't doing anything wrong, it wouldn't be an issue to say to state it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. We're asking you to state it for the record. Yes, Officer Roblin. Badge number, please. Right there, sir. So you don't right want to honor your oath that you took to the United My States. My number is right there, sir. It's visible. My badge right. number is right. right there. We're asking you to state it for the record. Come on, come here. Did this guy say it? He's pointing at me. 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 He's but what was threatening? Yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah. But what did he say? No, well, we can't. No, no. He, he was pointing at her, and that was threatening her. So part of part of the problem is also people that call the police for no reason. That's why with the whole Karen movement, Karens, and what's the male male equivalent of of a Karen for for, for a man? Um, Tom. Spencer. Tom, it's a, it's a old Tom, right? Black people, for the most part, we think twice, maybe even three times, maybe ten times before we consider calling the police because more more times than not, they tend to do more harm than good, especially when it's not like a paramedic or a fire department, right? We, you, fire department, paramedic, for the most part, we trust them a bit more, but calling for police for these activities, I'll take my chances. So part of the problem is people that call the police for this these types of BS situations. He was pointing at me. I felt threatened. Next next course of action, call the cops. 911? Yes. I, how was that, how did that conversation even go on the phone? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Hello, 911? 
Yes, uh, a young man, uh, a man is a black man, African American man. He's pointing at me. What is he doing exactly? He's pointing at me, man. He's pointing at me. Call the cops right now. I need help. The fuck? Like, she doesn't know what she's we say because they didn't say nothing. Come on, no, listen, look. Because I'm black and I'm 6'3. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? There's no racism. Well, that doesn't sure. make sense. How do you know I'm cool without pointing that? And I was, I was 50 yards away from you, 100 yards away from you. He was pointing. Okay, he was pointing towards your direction, but doesn't mean he was pointing at you. Come on, man. There's other people over there. You, you gonna... Now you both look foolish. You both look foolish. Do all of this to somebody who's done right. nothing. Right, right. Right, and we went to customer service. Today. Exactly. Like, why are you gonna do this to me? Hey, come on. Right, right, right. Yeah. I got also, I, f I found that in these videos, the police officers tend to have a problem apologizing or saying they're sorry. They'll say, go about your day or continue filming or whatever it is. But they will never say, oh, my bad, I'm sorry. They'll just, like, take the walk of shame and silence without, like, trying to recoup the relationship or know that they made a mistake. This guy's getting in the door. Can you send the other unit here? In fact, I'm going to go back in my house, man. Back in my mother's house. You know what? Dude? Am I being detained or am I free to go? You're being detained. For what? What crime do you suspect me of committing? Right now, you're being de detained. For what crime do you suspect me of committing? For breaking in the... I don't want to diss, but like... How did he pass the fitness, fitness test? I'm sure there should be like a weekly or monthly training that police officers do... Police officers do to maintain fitness shape. Because like... I feel like one of the reasons that people get shot oftentimes is that the police would rather shoot the person than try and chase them down because they're out of shape. Is that a possibility? I don't know. And especially, I'm sure the protocol is you don't shoot at someone who's running away from you. I'm sure it depends on the context, but for the most part, you're not supposed to kill a guilty person either. The okay, work, well, someone called it. you and said someone was breaking and entering here? Did someone call you for that? For no, who? That, that somebody was let's, in this let's car. Let's find out who that was. Somebody was in this car. Okay, that's my brother. Okay. Okay, he lives here actually. Okay. Okay. Then what's the what's the issue? All you got to do is give up some well, I don't have to give you no idea. That's the problem. What's your name and badge number? Officer Iglesias. Okay, your badge number? Your badge number, Officer Iglesias? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Your badge number, sir. Turn around and what put your hands behind you your back. What crime do you suspect me I'm not, I'm not, I haven't committed any crime. You're not going to play these games with me. And you tell us that to leave my property, man. Sir. Come on, man. Turn around. Leave my property, man. I'm not. I'm not playing these games. I haven't committed any crimes. Turn, Turn around. Tell this dude, man. Please. I know who you are, but he wants me. One. Where's your ID? Then I don't have to give him my ID, man. I'm, 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 I'm not in the mood for this shit, man. Yeah, I'm I finally asked for your ID. Listen, I don't know who called you guys and said the mail was piling up. Whatever. This is my brother. He can give you ID all you want, but I'm not. You know who I am. Tell him who I am. I'm not under no obligation to give this man my ID, man. I just don't like that crap, man. I don't like that crap. I understand he came by. The mail was piling up. I explained to him. I said, look, my mother died October 16th. October 13th, of course the mail's piling up. We've been coming, getting the house ready to go. This is my, my equipment, all my stuff over there. Yeah, so, you know, all that, you know, flexing. Let me see some ID. I don't play that shit, man. I don't play that shit. Not, not, not doing it. Not doing it. From all we got, it looks like a burglar in progress. Okay, well, there's no burglar in progress. Okay, and we're just here trying to solve That's cool. It's been solved. Tell them it's been solved, man. There's no burglar in progress. This is my mother's house. Do our checks and make sure we check that. You check him, I guess, man. You know who I am. Tell him who I am, I guess. No, I'm not. It's just like the constant seeking, the, the, the constant pursuit to escalate the situation. I don't understand. I don't understand. Remember, you're not required to give them that, give them your ID unless you committed a crime or you were in the process of committing a crime. And for the most part, it's a fairly minor for y'all to cook your own food, not eat out today, save your money, save your coins. But hopefully this was informative. God bless, much love, peace and joy. Namaste. Always remember, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. And too much or any good thing is good for nothing. How are you lot doing today? I'm doing more, saying less. And keeping that same energy. No cap. Put the script. I'm out. Deuces. Okay. So I'll go. But the ID thing? I, the so I don't have to. That's the issue. All that. Let me see some ID and all that. Man, I don't play that crap, man. Okay, well, it's been verified. I told him. There's no. Do you? Does he have any reason to suspect that I'm lying to him? That's the, that's the issue. Okay. Well, that we have what everyone else is telling us. Okay. Well, they can tell you all they want, man. I guess, man. I'm just not playing that crap, dude. I'm, I just got off work. We're gonna lighten all day, man. Ready to go home. Stop by here. Who want to come to me for? Try to go from zero to a hundred real quick, yeah, that's your plan Well, whoever gave you that idea, you should go ahead and smack that man <laughs> yeah. I don't like no leech, I don't like no leech